the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. Brakath Yahweh, Brakath Yahweh Shai, Brakath Yahweh, Brakath Yahweh Shai, Brakath Yahweh, Brakath Yahweh Shai, giving all praises, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Give it our honors to the elders of the camps out there, teaching His word truthfully, diligently, and sincere. To the brothers, the Akim, who's doing the work truthfully, digitally, and sincere, and the sisters as well. Uh, <clears throat> this video, I'm going to title Watchmen, Warning from the Watchmen. As I read Ezekiel chapter 17, again, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give the warning from me. Okay, so the Most High has set up watchmen. He sets up watchmen. Now you see the elders and the brothers out there in every corner of the earth preaching this word. They are blowing the trumpet. They're blowing the trumpet. Okay, that's what they're doing. As well as um, on YouTube, as we bring this word out on the highways and hedges, and also on YouTube as well, you know, uh, um, the media stream, all right, as you know, uh, we give a warning to them as well, all right. So, the most high set of watchmen, all four corners of the earth, to give warning, he uh, give warning to our people. Of the house of Israel only. Only the house of Israel. That's only uh, the nation that Most High is dealing with. He ain't dealing with any other nations except for the house of Israel. Alright. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou hast shall surely die. And thou givest him not warning. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. To save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But... His blood will I require at thy hand. Okay? You gotta... You have to warn people. Even like... People who's not in the truth. Like, they go to these churches. And things like that. You know, they, they know the Most High is coming. Then they may not know everything 100% of the Bible. Or, or the truth. You know, they think that... You know, um, some churches are starting to wake up. You know, but... You know, churches do give warning to people now that we're in the last days. You know, repent repent and change your ways to the Heavenly Father. Like my brother, um, he's done the truth, but he knows we're in the last days. He sees things that's happening, you know, and things like that, you know. And he's trying to, you know, save his butt, you know. So we got to give warning to the house of Israel, all right? It says, read it again. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require thy hand. So if you don't give warning to the wickedness, to the wicked people out there that's doing, uh, um, breaking the law, statute, of commandments that the Heavenly Father has given us, the blood is going to be in our hands. Okay? Because we have to, you know, Warn our people to turn their ways from, from the wickedness. Keep reading. Verse 19. Yet if I warn the wicked, if you warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, his sins, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So if you warn the wickedness, and he turn not from being Wicked, turn from his wicked way. Okay, he's gonna die. He or she will die in their sins. But that has delivered thy soul. You delivered thy soul. Why? Because you're giving warning. You have give warning. Okay. Verse twenty. 
Again, when a righteous man doeth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, and he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So if you in the truth and 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 you have turned from the most high, and he would lay a stumbling block. Okay? And a lot of, you know, brothers we have seen in the past have been this truth. And being this truth is, is not easy. It's it's very hard. It is hard. Because you have to endure. Okay? But if been this truth and you turn your ways from the most high, it's like turn your back on him. Okay? If you turn your back on the most high, guess what? All the works you have done. And many how you know okay, how long you been the truth? 10, 15, 20 years, he would not remember. He would not remember the works you have done. It all is gonna be thrown out. It all is gonna be thrown out. Okay, and I say in, in previous um of my videos that this truth is hard. It is not easy. It is not easy. I know we've seen you know the elders of other camps like Great Millstone, HOI, uh, uh um IUIC. You know, uh, um, elders who've been in this truth for a long time. And they, they struggle to deal with demons because they're human. You know, so imagine, you know, uh, 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 they're still dealing with, you know, demons and they, they, they do what they got to do. You know, been doing it for a long time. Brothers out there as well have been in this truth for a long time, you know. It's hard. It's not easy. I've been in this truth for 10 years and it's hard. It is very, very hard. You got to be consistent. And you got to be persistent. In this word, all right, it's it's because you're dealing with, you know, in this world, you know, you know, sometimes you get caught up in in you know, in the world of worldly things, you know, and sometimes you don't think that the Most High is with you, but the Most High is with you all the time without you even knowing. He might not give you the things that you ask for, you know, but He's going to give you the things that you need to survive on a daily basis. And sometimes, even like me, I get caught up. I'm, I, I, and you know, I don't bite my tongue. You know, those who see my video, I, I don't bite my tongue. I made a video of repenting, and you know, I, 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 I I've been sidetracked. I'm not gonna lie, I've been sidetracked. Okay, I've been sidetracked a couple of times. It's not easy. It's hard. It's very, very hard. And pray for those who you know, if you believe they're being sidetracked, pray for them. I pray for those as well, and hope those, you know, brothers and sisters, uh, pray for me, okay? Because we're not perfect. We're not. We're not. We're not perfect, you know. And every man is not completely equal of being righteousness. It's all levels, okay? It's all levels. All right. Keep reading. Nevertheless, verse twenty-one. Nevertheless, if I warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doth not sin. He shall surely live because he is warned. Also, that has delivered thy soul. Okay, so you warn if 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 if, if you warn the righteous man, and the righteous he he does not sin. Okay, he will surely live because he was warned and he took heed. He took heed, and that's what we need to do. We need to take heed of this word. We have to. Now I know that, you know, we 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 still under captivity, we still under laws of Esau, you know, but we still have to keep make do. All right, our ancestors went through it, and we're going through it. I know at times this might be just a little, a little easy, you know, with technology and things like that, you know, but it's it has its pros and it has its cons. But we still getting lynched, we still getting murdered, we still getting you know uh, uh um sent to prison, you know, we are still going through it, all right. We're still going through it as uh, the house of Israel. Verse twenty two, and the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and He said unto me, Arise, 
Go forth into the plain, and I will there talk with thee. Then I arose and went forth into the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Shabar, and I fell on my face. Then the Spirit en entered into me, and set me upon my feet, and spake with me, and said unto me, Go, shut thyself within thy house. But thou, o son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt go now out among them. And I will make a slacky, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Thou thou hast shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. The rebellious house is the house of Israel, because we are the rebellious house. We are rebellious children. For centuries we've been a rebellious children. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say, shall say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear. He that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbear, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. We are the rebellious house. Children of Israel are the rebellious house. We're very rebellious people. Sometimes I think to myself, how can we be the children of the Most High? How can we be the children of God? We're very rebellious people. We are. We're prideful. We're wicked. Okay? But the Most High have chosen us. Alright? We are special people. I guess, you know, and I, and I guess, I'm not guessing, but I know that the world we're in, you know, we're being distracted by, you know, um, movies, media, clothing, designs, these, you know, uh, 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 idolizing a lot of uh, entertainers, you know, and things like that. What they do, we, we love to follow, you know, and things like that is distracting us from the world of the most high. Especially today's generation, we are, whoo, seeing that generation is getting worse and worse. The generation is getting worse and worse. That's the matter. When I was um young, growing up in the seventies and eighties, you know, I remember my parents' generation would say these kids are bad. Now me, in two thousand nineteen, forty seven years old, and looking at today's generation, it ain't even worse than we were, man. Worse, because you see, you know, uh, the homosexuality. It's um, it's just open now. It's just very, very open, and it's like it's it's nothing. Okay, like it's nothing. You know, they 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 embrace it. You see, um, like I live in Atlanta, and when I first got to Atlanta, I had went to a. Uh, not say the first time I got when well, the first time I got to Atlanta, you know, me and my boy was walking through this uh part of Atlanta called uh, Midtown section of um Atlanta, and oh my goodness, the homosexuality in that part of Atlanta, Midtown, I I, I didn't know until I realized until I started seeing flags on the floor and posts up everywhere and things that the rainbow flag. I was like, wow, my boy didn't peep it until I told him, you know, and things like that and. You see, you know, and seeing these kids like fourteen, fifteen, young, homosexuals, man, and it's not, it's like it's nothing, like like it's nothing, man. So we are the rebellious house. We do have to watch, you know. We have to be watchmen. Um, can our people, we, you know, those who are sinning, repent and change their ways? Yes, sure, of course they can. You know, we're sinners. We change our ways in life for the better, for the good, trying to make it, you know, to the kingdom. So, yes, we're not perfect. We have to change our ways, people. The book of Ezekiel, go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33. It's up verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Speak to the children of thy people, son of man, which is Yahweh Shai, 
Speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of the coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And when they're talking about the sword, talking about uh, the military, homeland security, you know, uh, the, the waves of things that are to come. These are the things that we, we we warn. Prophecy. Prophecy, yes, that um when you see prophecy coming to pass, we warn the people. You know, cause things are to come. Like my brother, he um he watches a lot of um Alex Jones and things like that. And he said, Man, I gotta get my you know, my act straight enough because you know, what he sees, you know, and watching Alex Jones, that's things that's happening now, you know, he, he sees it. You know, he's not in the, in, in, in the truth or nothing like that, but he sees things that's happening. So he knows he wants to get it together, you know. Um, same thing in these movies. You know, movies is giving us warnings. Yes. M movies and TV shows are giving us warnings. But we uh, some of these movies and shows go uh, on our heads. You know, great, uh, like great example, a lot of these superhero movies. Um, and I love, I'm a nerd when it comes to superhero movies, I love superhero movies, but they're giving us warnings. They're giving you warnings. You know, you got to take heed to them. You know, try not to overlook it. Alright, keep reading. <clears throat> Verse 4, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his head. So if if you hear the the sound of the trumpet, the warning, and you take not warning of it, and when the sword it when the sword is gonna come, you take so and take away the blood's on your hands, man. The blood will be on your hands. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Clearly day. Verse 6. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So if <laughs> if you see the sword coming, man, and you and you're not blowing that trumpet, and you're not getting people the warning, okay, and and there be death among those people that have not been warned. Guess what? The blood is gonna be in your hands. The blood is gonna be in your hands. So you have to keep on. And it doesn't matter, you know. We warn the people every day, every week, when the highways and hedges, you know, on 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 the videos when you at. Work and, and you know when you you will meet a couple of people at work that that uh claim to be like you know religious or be in the Bible and things like that you know you warn them you know you warn them and things like that you know me and my um um me me and my uh, my my girlfriend my wife we you know we um we we don't sh share the same views in the scriptures. But she knows that we live in the last days. She knows that. She's more into watching videos of, you know, of scriptures and things like that. You know, so she knows that we're in the last days. All right. Verse 7. So thou, a son of man, have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel... See, on to the house of Israel, we give warning to. On to the house of Israel, okay, the twelve tribe of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, 
but his blood will I require at thy hand. So you got to turn your way from your iniquities, man. Sin. And a lot of us, like I said, two-thirds of us is not going to change our ways. We're not. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his ways to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So you will deliver your soul. As long as you're giving warning, you keep doing what you're doing. Okay? Warning the house of Israel, warning their wicked ways. And then will turn from it, the Lord will deliver your soul. But they will die in the iniquity. They will die. Verse 10. Therefore, O son of man, speak unto the house of Israel, thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how shall we then live? Say unto them, As I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. I, will, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? The Most High is going to have no pleasure in the death of the wicked if you turn your ways and live. And what he means by turn your ways and live, that means... To, to repent, turn to the Most High, His Law and Statute Commandments, which is 613 Law and Statute Commandments we have to live by. And yes, we cannot live all of them 100%. It's impossible. It's impossible. Okay, to live them 100%. It's impossible. That's what we say, to the best of your ability. To the best of your ability. Okay? And live and turn the ways of wickedness. Live means that to come back to the to the laws and statute commandments. And when the time comes, you may live through the the the, the um things are to come. Cause things is going to come here in America. Martial law. Okay. They're going to put us in handcuffs. They're going to put us in these concentration camps. All right? These things are going to happen, people. They're going to happen. And when they start betting that the, the microchip, which I believe, which I believe, Yohanna believed that it is the mark of the beast. And many camps laugh at it. A lot of camps, you know, um, don't teach that. And that's okay. But I advise them. And as the elders as well who don't teach that. As the elders as well do not take it. Alright. When that time comes just don't take it. Alright. And that's going to be the hard time because you know I see a lot of people today still having children. And the Bible seeks about that having children in these, in these last days. Because they're going to use your children against you. The babies, the children that you're going to you having now, they're going to take them and say, if you do not take the chip, we will slaughter your children. And especially for the women, you know, because they are uh, um, vulnerable creatures. All right? They're not built like a man. Now, I'm saying, well, man will have any type of feelings? Yes. I'm a parent. I'm a father. I'm a parent. But my children is grown. My children is 18, 19, and 20. Excuse me, 18, 20, and 21. Okay? And they grown. But if they was like babies, okay, toddlers, Yet, it would hurt me if they came to that point. It would hurt me. But knowing that the Most High will deliver me. And these are the things that a lot of us is going to go through when that time comes. These are the things that we have to go through, endure. It's going to get worse, people. All Israel is going to get bad. People do not understand... A lot of people do not understand 
when you <sighs> they think that everything is everything. When I walk or I drive and I see people just like like everything is everything, they don't have a clue. I feel bad for them. It saddens. It saddens me. It really does. It saddens me. You know, and there's time and still have enough time to build yourself up. To build yourself up. Keep reading. Verse 13. When I say to the righteous that ye shall surely live if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness should not, would not, should not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he have committed, he shall die for it. So if you're righteous, okay, and you commit sin, you will not be remembered, your works not will, will not be remembered. And you're going to die. That's why we have to be consistent. And, you know, be consistent. You know, be persistent. To keep fighting and keep being strong and, and keep enduring. Like I said, this is not easy. This is hard. Because this is like the, this is like the lotto. It's like a lottery. The most side knows who's in the book of life, who's going to make it, and who's not. But we don't know that. We don't know that we're going to make it. So it's like a lottery, man. You know how much the, the 144,000 is? 144,000, if you fill up, like, uh, okay, for instance, Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan, they hold 120,000 uh, um seats and then you can fill up the stadium that's roughly 144,000 that's that's just not even a handful that's just like that's your pinky because where where where, where children is where, where we scattered over the earth 144,000 that's just the stadium right there man that's not a lot <laughs> that's not that's not a lot all right Okay, that's not a lot, man. Okay, that's only that the hundred forty four thousand and one third is gonna make it as well, but a two third will be put to death. Alright. Keep reading. None of the sins that he have committed shall be mentioned unto him. He that have done that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people say the way of the Lord is not equal, but as for them they way their way is not equal. When the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet he say, The way of the Lord is not equal. All ye house of Israel, I will judge you every one after his ways. And it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, in the tenth month, in the fifth day of the month, that one that had escaped out of Jerusalem came unto me, saying, The city is smitten. And that's what's going to happen in the, um, the daughter of the days um, on Babylon that we in, America. The city's going to be smitten. I don't know if you hear the, the um, fire truck siren in the background, you know, but it's going to be a lot, a lot of <laughs> police... Um, um, an ambulance, police, all the sirens, man. It's gonna be fire. It's gonna be all hell breaking loose. All hell is gonna break loose. All hell is gonna break loose. Keep reading. It says, "Now the hand of the Lord was upon me in the evening, and for he that had escaped came and I opened my mouth until he came to me in the morning." And my mouth was open, and I was no more dumb. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, they that inhabit those ways in the land of Israel speak, saying, Abraham was one, and he inherited the land, but we are many. The land was given for our inheritance. Okay? So, brothers and sisters, you know, um, we're in that time, we're in that stage, we're just the beginning of the stages. 
and it's it's coming little by little, you know, just setting everything up, you know, and things like that. Do not be fooled, do not be misguided, do not be distracted, all that things to come. It is coming. Now I'm not saying don't go to movies, don't, you know, don't have a good time and things like that. I'm, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is to be prepared, to be, you know, guarded, all right? Be circumspect. Don't stay, stay awoke. Don't be asleep, okay? That's all I'm saying. Don't be asleep. Stay awoke. Warn the people. Wake up the people. Say, you know, be circumspect. Look at your surroundings. Now, like I said, every, you know, brother, you know, it's not equal. You got those who's more righteous than other brothers who's more into the word of the Lord than others. And that's okay. That's okay. You know, as long as that you doing what you're supposed to do, that the Most High inquire you to do, okay, to the best of your ability, you're going to be good. And when I say best of your ability, again, it's because we cannot keep the law and statute to 100% in the days that we're in. It's impossible. When we have these feast days, you know, that we don't know if the lamb is a one-year lamb, male, if it's been blemished or not. we just rehearsing the righteous acts. So don't caught up to be a super-duper prophet. I know a lot of you think you're super-duper prophets, but you're not. Keep the law to the best of your ability. Keep striving. Okay, strive to, the scripture says, strive to perfection. Which is going to be hard. Like I said, all man's not created equal. You know, in the kingdom, we're not going to be created equal. Even though we're going to be in righteousness and in richness of fullness, it's going, to be, it's going to be levels. It's going to be levels. Do I want to be a part of 144,000? Yeah, I would love to. But if I'm just the one third and I made it, of not being destroyed by nuclear missiles. I made it. Just made it, man. Jumped in that chariot. Just, oh, uh, it's face. I made it. That's all I'm trying to do. Is try to make it to that chariot. That's all. You know, that's all I'm trying to do is try to make it to the chariot. And keep doing what I got to do with righteousness. I'm not perfect. I'm a sinner. Okay? I'm a sinner. I'm still dealing with demons. But as long as that you keep fighting this word and this truth, and follow the law, statute, commands the best of your ability, and keep keep doing the good works until that time comes, endure it to the end. Like how I said in the book of Matthew, endure it to the end, and you'll be you should be saved. Okay, this is not a mar this is not a, a a a sprint. This is a marathon here. This is a marathon, and it gets weary. Okay, I'm going to close it out and say giving all praises, giving all praises and glorious glory to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Because if not for Him, things would not be possible for us. Pray, pray more often, fast, keep praying. Ask the Most High for guidance, protection. You know, keep doing that we have to do so we can make it out of here. Because Babylon will be destroyed. And for that, I'm going to say, Shalom. I love you, Israel.